Hey guys, I'm Eric, and hey, look who we're with again. This is Notes and Nerds. How you doing, Suzanne? I'm doing really good. Awesome. Introduce yourself again. Hey, Suzanne Lambden. Look, I'm cosplaying myself today. I am the author of the Dead Heart series, but I have a new series that came out this year. Really? I did. Realm of really? Magic. You do a lot of writing. A lot of writing. I do a lot of writing. You know, and I didn't realize your publisher does not like you to switch genres. <gasps> you switched genres? I did, but I knew what I just switched the lineup of the genres. Uh... So my Dead Hearts, which is zombie apocalypse, is fantasy supernatural horror. So now I have written the realm of magic, which oh. is fantasy supernatural horror, and it's not really even mixed up, is it? But you go from I don't even know how to even explain it without just showing it real quick. Same genres. I kind of mixed it up different. So this is a dark fantasy. This is a fantasy supernatural. Zombies. This is like Lord of the Rings, but your main... So it's that Aragorn's a female. It's a clan that scavenges off battlefields in a kingdom that has outlawed magic. And your main character has some magic properties she's a it's a witch and so she finds a magical sword that talks to the dead and magical map and some nice. other fun things on a battlefield and it's a it's a really fun quest but uh, i had screen magazine if you don't mind me saying so which is a magazine out of england they just compared it to tolkien wow um, I was really delighted and thrilled that I got that big of hype from them. I, you know what? If somebody compared me to something like Chris Hardwick but said uh, he's like the soul of uh, his shoe of Chris Hardwick, I'd still take that. You got uh, Chris Hardwick's butt. <laughs> not that I know. I do not know. I, I just wanted to give him a compliment. He deserved one. Thank you very much. Hey, well, thank so, you. Here's a question. We'll get into the books here in a little bit more detail from you. As far as your morbid hearts, or dark, uh, yes, morbid hearts, the dead hearts uh, series, dead hearts, is this come to a conclusion, or is there more books? So right now there are, I'm so glad you asked. I'm going to have to reach over him. Grab this one. So there, right now there are five books in this series. You can I believe get this at, is the new one? This is the new one. So Immortal Hearts is the latest novel in this series. There are six more. So this is You're book going five. double duty. Oh, I really am. So book six should be out this year, and then they're all going to go, well, just bing, bing, bing. Okay, George R.R. R. Martin, you have no excuses anymore. You really don't have any because now, so I have six more books in Dead Hearts. So here's the Realm of Magic. So this came out in May. This book two came out in August. And so if you like strong female characters, so kind of Xena Conan type chick. A little sensitive. Um, nice. Swinging a magical sword, riding a winged horse. Book three comes out next month. And this is more of your typical fantasy genre. It's not set in a modern-esque time frame, no, right? No, this is a medieval world, and the world craft on this is splendid. So you okay. can check out. My website for this is therealmofmagic.com. There's hyphens between the right words. But if you even just check out the website, the map's wonderful, the characters are wonderful. And just from looking at the website, you will get a feel of what this series is about. And it's really, really good. Awesome. Go there. Link down at the bottom or at the top, depending on if you're YouTube or Facebook, you know? Check them out. So how I don't want to ruin anything as far as surprises because some people might not even have an idea what, how many books are going to do yet. Do you know how many books on this one you said? So there's the third one's written, so the third book in the series comes out next month. I only have written three so far. You don't know how far you want to take it? I don't know how far I'll take it. It's it's open that I could keep going with it, but I have another series coming out, so I'm going to jump into military sci-fi for a while. Yep. Because I am a big fan of sci-fi. Speaking of sci-fi. Oh my god. A few years ago, like, you know, when I was in my teens, you did a script for a particular sci-fi series, didn't you? I, I just might have. What was that? I have a... Well, I wrote for Star Trek Next Generation. <gasps> so, uh, season four, episode 76, Entitled Family. Check it out. You'll find my name on it. 
So my part of the storyline was when Wesley Crusher meets his dad, Jack Crusher, on the holodeck when he turns 18. Uh huh. So the difference, the original script was called The Wish. I, just so you know, so Star Trek came on, saw the newspaper article, Patrick Stewart's going to be in the show, and I decided, let's sell my horses, let's move to L.A., let's get a freaking job at Paramount Pictures within six months. I had the script ready to go within a year, walked wow. it into Michael Pillar's office, the secretary goes, do you have an appointment? said no. I walked on in anyway and <laughs> said, if you're looking for a good script for Wesley Crusher, this is it. Put it on his desk, turned and freaking walked out. He called the next day because I left my number on it and said, you know, you got big balls coming in here like that and come back in. I want to meet you. Awesome. And that's how it started. So. Nice. I do believe I remember that episode. Uh, was that the episode where he was going through the Starfleet training or not? No, so this is the episode where Picard had been a Borg and he's going home to the vineyard in France to meet his, uh, his brother and then Worf has got a storyline and then it's it's uh, Wesley's 18th birthday and then his, his dad taped him a message on the holodeck. I remember enough, it's been so long since I've watched enough Star Trek Next Generation to be able to pinpoint that stuff, so I my memory's a little vague right now. That's what happens when you hit 40 and you know, keep going up. Here, let's know. do some more little promo. <laughs> Bring it on! Bring it on. So, if anybody has a copy of this magazine, it's Starlog, Platinum Edition. It's from 1993. I'm uh, one of the featured authors in this, and there's a lovely picture of me from, God, 1990. But it, it talks a little bit about uh, the episode and some other episodes that I wrote for Star Trek. They didn't get bought and turned into stuff, but... Uh, you have them out there. I have them out there. Now, if you had them still... You could turn those into books. Well, I really could. And I'll say, too, if you, if you have that Starlog magazine, come bring it to me. To any con, I'll be glad to sign it. And the fun thing is, so I had sold, uh, so The Wish is the name of my script that was turned into family. So at a con, a gal bought The Wish from me. She took it to Planet Comic Con, and Will Wheaton was there. And he looked at the script. She went up to get his autograph. He said, where in the world did you get this? I didn't even know it existed. And so he signed it, and I signed it on the front page. And somebody actually has in real life both of our autographs on that oh. script. And it's cool. It's like, can you give me that back? I want it back. <laughs> I want his freaking signature. I don't have it. You know, he's on the, Insta on the Instagrams and the Twitters. You can always maybe see. I, I have tried. Oh. Yeah. Well, Whedon, I know you're not watching this, but come on. Hook her up. Yeah, please do. I want your autograph. So... Thank you very much. Hey, thank you. It's always an absolute delight. I appreciate it. It's a delight for me. It's all my pleasure. Here's the thing, guys. If you want to catch up with her and buy her stuff, she's at all the cons. I mean, every con that I go to, she's there. And even the ones I don't go to, she's there. And you're not just in the Midwest. No, I've, uh, I've spread out, so I'm coast to coast this year. I'm getting ready to go to uh, Walker Stalker in Atlanta. Then I go down to Wizard World in Austin. Wizard World? Uh, and I've been up to Seattle this year and just kind of travel all around the U.S. And next, She gets around. Next year I'm going to try to be going uh, international. So Oh, there's the I ticket. I haven't decided. So England, Germany, maybe um, I don't, somewhere in Africa. I don't know. Hook her up, guys. Come on. Get so, her over there. Everybody likes books. Not me, but everybody else. But he likes the people that write stuff. So. Yes, I do. All right, guys. Well, hey, remember, support her. Links here, links there, wherever you're watching, Facebook and YouTube. And also don't forget to support me by going to patreon.com slash notes of nerds, where you can give a little to get a lot back. Or you can go, you know, subscribe on our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash notes of nerds. Or facebook.com slash, again, notes of nerds. So catch you guys more on uh, all the little Apple Comic Expo stuff. And you have an awesome time. Thank you very much,